Sighting in your AK or SKS rifle is very simple. Great to have a sight tool that can fix your, uh, to, to adjust your sight. This is a two-in-one Tapco. It's all steel, um, sight to windage, and elevation in this simple tool. I think this is really important to have if you have an SK, SKS or an AK-47 style rifle. And it will do both. Now, this is the sight picture similar to uh, when you're using your rifle. Uh, the AK Eastern Block style has yardage on the back. Uh, you can adjust it by just depressing this and then pushing it forward. And it actually elevates this rear sight to the position. But before you do that, you need to sight your rifle in. This is not going to necessarily sight your rifle in, except this is for field use. What you need is a nice sight tool, and of course all the adjustments happen here at the front, and both windage and elevation. And then once you set this, then when you're at the field you're, and you're doing 100, 200, 300 meters, uh, even though this sight goes all the way up to 1,000 meters, you know, 300 meters is tops for the AK, and to be honest with you, I, really 200 yard is, and 250 is probably your max. Now I have both the AK and the SKS right here and as you can see they're very similar in fact the uh, the adjustments are done exactly the same way. First off as far as windage goes this is your windage uh, part of your sight tool and what you want to do is you can see there is a pin here. This is a very movable pin that uh, moves your post from one side to the other. What you do is, as you notice on this tool, there's an opening and then there's a push pin right here that you just screw in. Get the push pin on one side and then have that hole on the other. And that way when you're pushing the sight through, it comes through this hole. If you don't have it aligned, you're just going to be pushing against metal. You can do this in the field, uh, you can do it at the range, and it's really easy. Now you can either do this from the front, this way, or from the rear, uh, it does not fit over the top. Okay, I have my sight tool attached, and as you can see here, this pin is aligned with this hole. So then all I have to do is, is start to turn. Unfortunately, this is not, this is more of a, uh, you're going to have to do a trial and error a little bit. But once you shoot, you turn it, then you fire your weapon and then you turn it. Uh, they're not clicks like uh, a lot of the sites, but it does work very well. Okay, and as you can see, it just moves that post as you turn. I brought them just in case. What I'm going to do is get it centered up and then I pull it off. Now that adjusts my windage and now this comes out just a little bit. It's kind of even on either side. To adjust this post, this post just screws right in. Uh, you need a special tool to get to it and right here we go. There's also a hole for that little fine post. And I'm going to try to get a good shot of that so you can see. There's the fine post. This tool goes over and then you don't want to break it. You want to be careful. So you put it over the post, let it go into that hole, and then you can adjust it up. Well, actually this is down and this is up. Counterclockwise is up. Clockwise is down. You shoot, and then you adjust your sight, and then you can sh you can shoot your groups again. Don't ever shoot one bullet and then count that as your uh, your impact point. You need to shoot at least three to five rounds to find out. You need a good group. Grouping is what's important. If you have a good group, then you can move it. You know that you're actually consistently hitting where the rifle is aimed, and also using a rest. Uh, sitting on a bench with sandbags or one of the rifle rests that you can place this rifle in 
uh, that will help you to really, it keeps the human margin of error out of it. Now here, the SKS is very similar and you do the same thing, but the sight's a little different. And some of the AK-47s have a different sight than the one I just showed you. But as you can see, um, the post you're going to want to do through the hole in the top of this hood. So it just fits down in just like the other, except that you're just going through a hole. Again, same here on the both sides. There is a windage tool, actually, that Tabco also puts out. It's just a flat piece that you can turn. And really, it's very easy to use. Uh, but this is a good combination tool, and the other does not have the windage. It only has elevation. There are a lot of accessories that you can buy that will replace this front post. Uh, there are different colors. I think Tapco has a set that has many different colors in it. I personally like the black because it sets up a silhouette. I'm going to tell you one thing I really like about having a, a rifle that is a military configuration or one that is very popular is that there are typically a lot of different options for your rifle. This is well worth the money and if you have an SKS or an AK rifle you really need to have a good sight tool. Visit tapco.com. You can check out all the different accessories and options that they have. It's a really good, uh, a really good source for um, American-made quality products for your AK, SKS, and a bunch of other different semi-automatic rifles. And as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival. God bless America. Long live the Republic. And it's made almost specifically, it handles exactly like your mama. Because I've handled your mama.